it just wouldn't be me if I wasn't right on the finish line and then trip and fall over myself. Let's jump into this one. First and foremost, happy Veterans Day. Uh, I haven't seen you guys since Veterans Day, which was this last weekend, but uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who served and uh, who is currently serving, uh, especially the older guys. Uh, quick story, when we uh, came home from Afghanistan, there was literally a parade waiting for us when we stepped off the plane in New Hampshire, I think is where it was, where we flew into, but uh, I'll never forget that, you know, just to see that much patriotism and that many people supporting what we did and what we're doing. And, uh, you know, the Vietnam guys especially didn't get that, you know. So you know, if you see a Vietnam uh, era guy, Vietnam War guy, or Korea, or World War II, uh, thank him, you know, because he didn't get that when he got home. And, you know, I did, so I always try to go out of my way to thank them for their service and stuff, you know, because they, they had a rough go. But uh, anyway, into the video now. Now what I'm supposed to be doing is coming to you guys with C-172 Network and Security Foundations. But uh, in a 24-hour period, I failed the OA twice. Uh, and if you're wondering to yourself, how the hell did that happen? Well, you're just going to have to stick around for that video. But uh, so, yeah, anyway, that's why it's been a while. Uh, well, I guess it's only been like a week and a half. But regardless, I took that OA twice, failed it twice. And I'm currently in the retake plan. But I should be able to knock it out within the next uh, week or so. But in the meantime, uh, in order to stick with my graduation goal of mid-December, I thought to myself, let me see if I can knock a OA out in like two days. And that's what I did. Uh, C724 Information Systems Management, I knocked out in two days. I'm just taking a lot of roll of the dices here. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll notice that that's a reoccurring theme though, is if you're gonna accelerate a WGU, sometimes you do just have to roll the dice and hope for the best. Uh, study, make sure that you know, you're trying to absorb as much information as possible, but if you have a graduation goal and you're trying to accelerate and graduate within a certain time, you know, you might, there's going to be times you go into an OA and you're not 100% confident about it, but you know, sometimes do the best you can and just see what happens. And that's been uh, something I've been doing since I started WGU and it's served me pretty well. So luckily with C724 uh, Information Systems Management, uh, so I spent about two weeks studying C-172, which was Network and Security Foundations, and felt pretty confident and knew a lot of that material. Um, all of A lot of IT stuff is really new to me, so I spent a long time on that C-172 Network and Security Foundations course. And luckily for me, uh, since I failed the OA twice, you know, decided to do this other one, uh, they kind of line up in certain ways. Um, Network and Security Foundations is much more IT centered and information systems management is a lot more business centered. But like as far as the IT management degree goes, it's kind of a mesh of business and IT. It's much more business though. ITM is a business degree, but it's a business degree with information technology sprinkled into it. So C172 is much more of an actual IT course, but C724 is actually more of a business course with some IT stuff in it. But luckily for me, all the stuff I learned in C172 uh, for on the IT side translated into this course. Like it was a lot of the same type of material. For example, there's a whole section in this course about networking, uh, which was the entirety of the previous course that I just spent two weeks studying. Uh, they go over topologies, they go over different network structures, they go over the OSI and TCP IP models, which was a big part of that network and security class. Uh, network devices, which is another thing they went over. So like jumping into this course, I already knew like over half of the material it seemed like. And the other half, like I said, this is a business class. This is, uh, this is, says information systems management, but this is really a business class and how information systems are implemented into business. Uh, so I went into it already knowing a bunch because I've taken a bunch of business core classes and then already knew a bunch of the networking stuff and IT stuff because I just spent two weeks studying that. And so the second I opened this course, I took the PA and I didn't pass it, but I did score like right on the line and I took it blind. I didn't open up a single resource within the class, took it blind and almost passed it. So that let me know like, hey, maybe I can knock this course out in a couple days. 
So with like uh, most WGE courses, there is some terminology and stuff that you do need to know. Uh, a lot of the things I missed on the PA when I took it blind were just because like I didn't know what you know they were asking because I hadn't read that in the material. But uh, as soon as I took that PA blind, I jumped into the cohorts. There's eight cohorts. Uh, they're not ridiculously long, uh, but I watched them all at two times speed. I took pretty good notes, and as soon as I got on, done with that, I took the PA again and passed it. So I scheduled the OA for you know later that evening, took it, and passed it. So from opening the course to taking the OA, I spent two days on this course. Tips and tricks for this course, uh, I would just suggest to put your business hat on. I'm not going to say that this course is common sense, but you can process of elimination your way down to at least only two uh, answers making sense. There was a bunch of times within the OA that uh, two of them would just be, re it's almost the opposite of a WGUism. Uh, two of the questions would just not make any sense at all. And then two of them would kind of sound right, but one of them would sound way more right. And uh, I passed a lot of questions just on the PA with that, but it was even worse on the OA. Like there was a bunch of them where I was just like, what are they doing? Like they, that's obviously not right. So what I would suggest for this course is to make sure if you don't already know, you know, the IT stuff, the networking stuff, uh, to spend a good amount of time on that. But uh, aside from that, just put your business hat on, you know, pick the things that would make the most descent, most sense. Uh, they go over a lot of different, uh, this class is about information systems and how information systems help a business. So you like your executive uh, information systems, your decision making, support systems. Uh, it's just like a bunch of stuff like that. Like again, not common sense, but you can kind of uh, navigate your way around like what makes the most sense uh, in this particular scenario. And I guess that's just kind of like being, uh, pretend like you're in a business and what decisions would you make or what would you implement, you know? And that helped me like pick the right uh, answer a lot within these. But that's all I have. Like I said, I already had a leg up because I just spent two weeks with the network and security class. So I kind of already knew half of it going in. But uh, yeah, even if you don't know any of that stuff, you can still probably pass this class in a week or less. Uh, just go in, take the PA, see where you're at, you know, uh, watch those like eight cohorts, take good notes and, you know, watch them a couple of times if you need to. But this isn't an overly complicated class, I didn't think. Um, it's a pretty good accelerated class that can be knocked out in a week or less. But uh, anyway, that's all I have. I'm jumping back into the retake plan for C172, and I'll explain that stupid, egotistical, crazy story uh, when I jump into the next video. But that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next one.